All right, so we finally made it to the trailhead. I tell you, if you're gonna come out here, Kate's Cove, Evans Falls, make sure you get out here early because we were driving on that road for what, a good hour and a half? Yeah. It was a very pretty drive, but finally made it out here to the trailhead. You get started here in a minute. It's nice. We started hiking, super late. Um, it's really busy out here. I figure once we get to the falls, it'll clear out a little bit. Avon's Frost Trail is really well maintained, very nice, flat and taken care of, very popular place, so that makes sense. Heed the warning folks, they say this is a dangerous waterfall, closely Control children. <laughs> Abrams Falls it is very busy out here. I know I've said that a few times, but a few fall colors. Apparently, this is the waterfall of Smokies that has the most volume. I say it moves the most water. Just finished up at the waterfall, Abrams Falls, and I don't think there's many more people. We'll see today past the falls. Um, we head out to campsite 14. I hope to get there before the sun goes down. We have an okay chance. Reaching the junction of uh, Hannah Mountain Trail, Avon Falls Trail. I left a nice water bottle here for you. I think this is where we cross the, um, the river, creek, whatever you want to call it. All right, we've reached the uh, river here. We've got to cross the end of Avon Falls Trail. Just trying to negotiate what is the best way to get across this. Looks to be probably maybe waist high in the middle there. I don't really know if there is a good or bad spot, maybe right here, but it's difficult to get to because of all the brush and stuff. So I think we're just gonna be going through it. What do you think? Yeah. There it goes. It's about 50 degrees out here. I figure by the time we get across, our feet will be pretty much numb. All right, we made it across, but my feet are Freezing. <laughs> it was fun though. <laughs> kind of refreshing, really. Stopped for some water here at Scott Gap Branch. Um, things online said that the water source at uh, Flint Gap Campsite 14 can be unreliable at times. So, unfortunately, we got to load up a whole bunch of water weight and pack it on up to the camp. We're about six miles right now, so not too much further to go. At the intersection here, we have 3.2 miles to Shelter 14, or Campsite 14, rather. And we'll be at home for the night. It's that way. Trail hasn't been too bad, actually. It's a few uphills, but not terrible. Um, lots of ridge walking. Flat, flat level ground. Probably shouldn't say that. I'm sure I'll regret that tomorrow. Yeah. Having fun though. Okay, we have made it to campsite 14. It is literally right on the trail. <laughs> and here's the trail. Here's the camp spots. It is not a good campsite. Um, it does have cables, so that's cool. But 
unfortunately at the camp kind of close to the cables. It's really, it's the only flat spots right here. Um, it's pretty hilly. Well, it'll do for the night. My tent all set up. Yeah, and this is the tarp tent pro trail lie. It's the second time I've gotten out in it. So far I like it. Packs not real small, super light. I added some of these tiles here. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I'll probably play with them a little bit tonight just to see what they add to it. John here working on the fire. Using the old trusty Vaseline coated cotton balls. Most things are probably the best fire starters I've ever used. Cheap, it's super easy to make. They work very well. It is day two. We are heading to campsite 13 in Gregory Bald. Nine and a half miles, I think. It was a good night. Great temperatures, slept good. Not too sore. We are about a mile in. It's been pretty much uphill all day. On the Gregory Bald Trail, stopping for a little bit of water in this trickle of a stream. John's just scooping it out of a little puddle. Uh, about three miles left to the campsite. Like another half a mile or so to Gregory Bald from there. Nice little rhododendron tunnel to walk through here. Providing too much needed shade. It's a little warm today. We have made it to Sheep Pin Gap. This is uh, site 13. Very large, very nice site. This is like a Ritz Carlton compared to site 14 last night. Pretty close to the trail, too. Lots of nice flat sites. Four fire rings, it looks like. John's setting up there. I'm gonna be here. Got the bare cables over there to hang out. And this is a huge site. I highly recommend this one. Got a little breeze coming from here. And also, it's only about a half mile to Gregory Bald, so that's why it's so nice. We can kind of set camp up and check up there. Rolled into camp a little bit ago, so I had to come up here to the Bald. That was a heck of a climb out of the camp. Sheep pin gap. Man, this is beautiful. Holy cow. I'm gonna do a quick 360 up here on the ball. It is beautiful. Well worth the climb. Chip. Dry. Post up, have some dinner. Yum yum. I'm walking back to camp from Gregory's Ball. The sun's sitting there. All right, it is the morning of day three. Um, slept pretty good. Very windy last night up here. A little chilly, but uh, suit bag and everything's gonna be good. I'm gonna head out it's about nine miles back to the car. We've got a three mile road walk though to end there, so I'm not really looking forward to that, but it is what it is. Um, sun's coming up. I'm gonna get my bag, get all popped, uh, packed up, and hit the trail. We are heading out for the day. First up on the list is hitting that half mile hill back up to Gregory Ball. Get the muscles going. It is a beautiful and bright. Sunny day out here this morning. Smoky Mountains on top of Gregory Bald here. Wow. Magnificent. This is on the other side of the Gregory Bald. A little bit of cloud coverage still burning off. Very clear. Excellent day for backpacking. Alright, coming off of Gregory Ball, walking towards Gregory Little Ball. We're at the junction of the Gregory Ridge Trail, I'm sorry, and the Gregory Bald Trail. Gregory Ball was up that way. That's the way we just came from Shelter 13. 
the Gregory Ridge Trail here. I'm going that way, back towards the cars. This is Forge Creek Campsite. It's campsite number 12. Stopped on the way down to Forge Creek Road. There are quite a few bridges and cream, uh, stream crossings in this trail. It's very nice and pleasant, love the sound. Just came across some uh, trail maintenance workers. They're fixing up the previous bridge. Yeah, we are road walking. Wow. It's a very pretty roadblock. It's not bad at all. Except for the road part, that's right. Yeah, it was really visually appealing. There's all kinds of cool stuff to see. And we have made it full circle back to the parking lot, Abrams Falls Trail. Awesome trip. Perfect weather. Could have got much better than this. Whew. Still gotta drive the Kate's Cobra about. Probably take us <laughs> an hour or two, right? Yeah. But uh awesome shift. <laughs>